Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and this video is brought to you by our sponsors over at 3D4Medical.com, the creators of this app. This is an iPad app that I'm using for anatomy. It's a 3D app, and it's called Essential anatomy. They created this app and a number of other apps that I'll be using in these video tutorials. So if you're interested in getting this app, check them out in the app store. This one is called Essential Anatomy and it's pretty awesome. I must say that it is pretty awesome. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking at the branches of the axillary artery. There are six main branches that come off of the axillary artery and in order to remember the sequence and also to give you a hint as to the names of the arteries, I want you to remember Hotel Spa, H-O-T-E-L and then S-P-A. Hotel Spa, and you probably noticed that I capitalized some of the letters, but not all of them, and that would be the H, the T, the L, and of course the S-P-A and A. If you can remember this, HTL, SPA, you can remember the order of the arteries, the branches that are coming off of the axillary arteries, and it gives you the first letter of the name of the arteries. So let's look at those branches. This is our axillary artery, and the first branch that we're going to look at in this um, in this app, it shows it coming off of the axillary artery. One thing I want to let you know, arteries are very variable. If you look in a cadaver, it doesn't typically look like the textbook picture that you see. You'll see a lot of variability with that. And the first one is the superior thoracic artery. That's also called the highest thoracic artery. So that's the H of the hotel spa. And here it shows it to you coming off of the subclavian artery. I want you to remember it as coming off of the axillary artery. Um, it can come off of either. So that's the first branch, the, the highest or the superior thoracic artery. You can see that's going down here and getting the first two um, intercostal spaces. So that's the superior thoracic artery, artery number one. The second letter in the sequence was the T. And that stands for thoracoacromial artery, or specifically, um, we have the thoracoacromial trunk, which is this very short region. But if I look at that artery, let's fade out everything else. Pretty sweet how you can do that on this app, huh? I know. Um, if I look at that, I will see that there are four branches coming off of that thoracoacromial artery. And I want, it doesn't show the individual names of those arteries here, but I want you to remember them. And an easy way to remember them is kind of like A, B, C, D. But instead of that, we're going to say A, P, C, D. Very similar, A, P, C, D. And the A stands for acromial. Uh, the P stands for pectoral. It's kind of hard to write with um, the way I have the iP how I'm holding the iPad right now. <laughs> um, then we have our clavicular and our deltoid. There you go. APCD, acromial, pectoral, clavicular, and deltoid. And that kind of gives you an idea of where those arteries are going. If you don't like the APCD, you can remember it as C A D P. Cadavers are dead people. All right, pretty easy to remember. Whichever one of these um, mnemonic devices you want to use, you can use. So acromial, pectoral, clavicular, and deltoid. So if I were to name these, let me erase this from now and, and move this up and turn it around a little bit. If I were to name these, I would call this the acromial artery. It's going there towards the acromion process. And then our P, the pectoral artery. 
that's this guy here it kind of descends in between pectoralis major and minor and it's going to supply those muscles uh, the c is the clavicular that's projecting medially it actually kind of ascends it's not shown in this picture as ascending but that's going to go up and get subclavius and the sternoclavicular joint and then we have this one projecting out towards deltoideus muscle and that is our deltoid branch so a p c d I want you to remember that. All right, so that was our T, the H, T, L, and now we're go well, now we're going to the L. Um, so the next one in the sequence would be our lateral thoracic artery. Let's fade the others. This guy right here, that's our lateral thoracic artery. That's going to project down and it's going to um, go towards serratus anterior. The, that's one of the lateral thoracic muscles, right? So the lateral thoracic artery is going to go towards serratus anterior. That's our hotel. We're done with hotel. Now we need to go to the spa. And for the spa, the first is the S, which is our, here it says suprascapular. I want you to remember it as subscapular artery. So this part right here is our subscapular artery, and that's going to branch. We're going to get two branches from that. We're going to get our thoracodorsal artery. And that's going to project down and get latissimus dorsi. And then we're going to have this one that wraps around the lateral border of the scapula. And if I turn this around, you can see how it wraps around. And that is our circumflex scapular artery, the circumflex scapular artery. Anytime you hear circumflex, you know it's wrapping around something. And we'll see two more circumflex arteries as we continue on. So we have our hotel, we have our S, now we need our P and our A, and that's our posterior circumflex humeral artery and our anterior circumflex humeral artery and what you're going to see once again circumflex so it's wrapping around something and in this case it's wrapping around the neck of the humerus and they're actually gonna connect so they're gonna anastomose uh, that word anastomose let me write that out here a n a stomose that means that the arteries are actually going to meet up, and they do meet up here, the posterior and the anterior humeral circumflex, as they are, they are wrapping around the neck of the humerus. So those are our six arteries, six main branches with their branches. So in review, let's go from the H to the A. So for hotel, the H stands for highest or superior thoracic artery. Then the T stands for thoracoacromial artery with our APCD branches. A is for acromial, P is for pectoral, C is for clavicular, and D is for deltoid. Then we have our L, which is our lateral, where are you? There you go, the lateral thoracic artery. Then we have our S, which is our subscapular which then branches into our suprascapular and thoracodorsal. We have the P, which is the posterior humeral circumflex, and the A, which is the anterior humeral circumflex. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video, the branches of the axillary artery. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe. And if you want more videos like this and other resources to help make biology fun, you know what to do. Come back to the website at interactive-biology.com. This is Leslie Samuel. That's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one.